Simplifying complex fractions. So a complex fraction is a fraction where we actually have more than one fraction involved. So we're used to just a simple 3 over 5, or just one thing in the top, one thing in the bottom. What a complex fraction is, is throwing in an extra fraction. So in this case, our both our numerator and denominator are fractions. We don't need both. If we just had one, it'd still be a complex fraction. And how we solve this is basically by flipping the denominator and then multiplying. So you know this one from just basic complex fractions. This just turns into 3 over 5. Flip our denominator and it turns into multiplication. So this is just then 7 over 9. We can cancel the 3 and the 9, so that becomes a 3. And then just multiply across. So this turns into a 1. 1 times 7 is 7. 5 times 3 is 15. Okay. This one we are dealing with rational expressions. So we actually have fractions and x's and all that stuff in there. The same exact rule still holds. We have a fraction on the top, fraction on the bottom. Just flip and multiply. So the numerator stays the same. x minus 2. The denominator gets flipped and then turns into multiplication. Minus 4 over 7. So this particular expression, we can actually cancel out uh, x minus 2. We can factor the numerator over here. This numerator turns into x minus 2, x plus 2. And then we can cancel the x minus 2. Okay, multiplying across, we then end up with 3 times x plus 2 all over 7. Okay, you could distribute this three, this 3 through if you wanted. You don't have to. This answer would typically be perfectly acceptable. So whenever we have a single fraction over a single fraction, it's called a complex fraction, and we solve it as we would with any other type of number.